A. Graphing non-time series SQL data. Non-time series data. Grafana graphs time series data from many types of data sources extremely well. But sometimes you just want to graph simple non-time series data, i.e. data without timestamps, flat tables that show simple statistics or values. And here's an example. If you've done SQL, you've seen tables like this. Really simple, just an ID and a name and a value. And this can be anything. It can be even a really huge table. But you just want to see that as a graph, a little bit like this or that. So in an earlier video, we created the example DB schema on our local Grafana server. And we set up as a data source. And just in case you don't have an existing table or database that you can just query from, I'm just going to show you how we can create a temporary table in that example db database and insert some data and then just produce these two graphs here okay so so i'm on my grafana server and as i said in the last previous few videos we created a mysql database so let's just log into that mysql there i am now let's show that we have that example db so show databases there we go example db it's there let's add a table to it that just contains this data it's just something we can play with and here we go that's, that's the script okay table created let's fill it with some data okay let's check that that data exists yep and it's there cool wit excellent Let's go into Grafana now. So we're in Grafana now and just ensure that you've created the MySQL data source like we did in the earlier videos, just and that you can connect. Excellent. Now go to explore. Make sure MySQL is the default data source. Now select edit SQL and replace all of that with this here. And paste. Now select table and we can see our data that we've just imported so cat dog lizard crocodile with some numbers since grafana needs a time column and we don't have a time column in our underlying data we can just create one by typing now as time for example comma just click out of that and there we go we now have time and that's just now. So if I was to run that again, those numbers would update to now. There we go. Every time I click it, it doesn't matter. It just needs to be a time column and it doesn't matter that they're all the same. Now we can use that. That's now a non-time series data converted to time series data, even though that time is identical. And that's what Grafana needs in order to create a graph. So let's just copy that. Go into dashboards, let's manage dashboard, and let's create a new dashboard, and we'll add a query. That query will be MySQL. Once again, edit SQL, replace all that with what we just created. We'll keep it as time series this time, because we want to create a graph, not a table. Visualization, let's select a bar graph and straight away we can now see our flat table that didn't contain time series information is now being presented as a bar graph inside Grafana and as you know from earlier videos we got many options and how to change this bar graph for example vertical and we can also change those numbers to percentages misc percent like so and that is just a bar graph save and that is just a simple bar graph from very simple non-time series data such as that now we can also make a traditional looking bar graph so let's uh, duplicate that and edit that okay so in the visualization let's choose graph and we'll scroll down and the x-axis the mode will be series and there we go we start to see that and these time 
strange. They have no effect because all the data is actually just, it's all now, exactly now. So if you were to change that underlying data in your SQL database, on the next refresh, you would see the new number. So you may have some process continually updating a flat table somewhere on your database. And this is, and Grafana will, will show that straight away. But that's very, very good. Let's show our legend and we'll show it to the right. There we go. Very good and save that let's have a look we've got our two graphs let's position it a bit like the image in my documentation very very good that's showing non-time series data as graphs in grafana and to demonstrate modifying the data in the database let's just go on to the sql here and paste in an example so update example db flat table example set total equals 50 where username equals koala enter okay one changed let's refresh that and there we go 50 percent koala 50 very good